Committee on Parole will call back to order. The time is 11.10. Our next case is Mr. Derek Chairs. Mr. Chairs, uh, would you give me your full name and DOC number, please? Derek Chairs, DOC number 2924.03. Uh, Mr. Chairs, let me explain our process to you. First, I'm going to read some information into the record, uh, and then we're going to conduct a parole interview with you. At the appropriate time, we'll allow those persons who have input, who wish to have input, to speak. Uh, currently uh, on our list today in opposition is Mr. Randall Meyer with uh, the DA's office in uh, Jefferson Parish. Uh, yes. At the end of our hearing, you'll have an opportunity to say whatever you'd like to say to the board, and then we'll vote. You understand our process? That's right. This is a matter of Derek Chairs, the uh, date of birth, uh, July the 1st of 1968, he's a fourth felony offender. He has a parole eligibility date of January the 29th of 2022, an adjusted good time date of January 31st of 2025, and a full term date of October the 29th of 2025. He is currently serving a five-year sentence on three separate counts of possession with intent to distribute cocaine after having been adjudicated a habitual offender on one of those counts. Is that basically correct, Mr. Chairs? Yes, sir. Mr. Chairs, uh, your case has been assigned to me, so uh, I will begin our interview. Mr. Chairs, how old are you, sir? 55. And how long have you been in prison on these charges? 40, I, I think, right, I got, I think I got 43 months. At 43 months, I got 17 months left on okay. 60 months. Okay. You got uh, 43, you, you've been in 43 months? Hey, let me see, 15, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 30, I think it's 34 months and plus. When I completed the program, I got nine months cut off. That's why I'm saying. All um, right. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit about your 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 background. Uh, uh, tell me about your education. How much education do you have? I only have like a eight eight not eight grade education. Did you ever try to get your GED? Yes, sir. But I didn't. It didn't complete it. Why not? I could, I just didn't want, during the time when I was serving, I was serving a 20 year sentence in WCI. And I just didn't know, I, did, I didn't pass the, I didn't pass the program. I was in a literature, I was, I've been in a, a literature program for, for a long time. Can, can, can you read and write? Not that good. I, I explained that when I first got it, that my reading and writing wouldn't, um, wasn't too good, but I'm, I ain't, no bad, I ain't no bad person. I'm a good person. I, I, I got good understanding and I can read. Right now, by me doing 20 years, by me reading the Bible so much, and I, I used to read my Bible a lot, and I, that's how I really learned how to read, read my Bible. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, now you were, you, were, uh, you were denied back in July of last year. Yes, sir. Uh, you all uh, recommended that you go to Steve Hall. Now, did you complete Steve Hall? Yes, sir. Did nine months complete. Okay. Tell me what you learned in Steve Hall. Tell me what you got out of that program. I got this time. I got. I, I really got a lot this time. I got like I just told y'all. I did twenty years, and I did programs in WCI, and the program really. Open my eyes, uh, open my eyes, because my, the people, places, and things. I went back to that old stuff, and I didn't take the program serious. But now, I really did. You know, you need that surprise. You need that support system. I didn't have that when I went home after doing twenty years. But this program, it really made me open my eyes, and I surrendered all that, all that bad stuff. Doing them drugs or hanging with them old people or going back to the old places, I surrender that. Let, let me let me ask you this: uh, you you actually have gone through uh, you went through Blue Walker one of the times you were in prison, right? Yes, sir. Two seventeen. What what happened? Why didn't that help? I uh, that's why I tell you I relapsed. I, if y'all 
Y'all have my record. I wrote a letter to the parole board the way we follow you bad parole. And I explained to them, after serving 20 years, going to Blue Water, I still relapsed after being home. And that hurt me. That hurt that I left my grandkids. I still relapsed. That, that addiction, that addiction, it ain't easy, it's hard, but that's why I gotta keep my support system in. And, and that's why I asked to go to the support. That's why I asked people, like, if I get parole to go to the uh, program, uh, uh, another Keep it real, minister. Well, well, let me let me stop you and ask you, what's going to be your plan if you're to get out soon? What's your plan to stay sober? Keep keep it, stand focused and 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 and, and participate. The first thing I do is the program. I got I got to stay with the program. That that that's the only way we can make it. We got to when you say when you say program. program, you're talking about AA meetings. A AA meeting, church meetings, uh, uh, any, anything positive, especially with the AA meeting and uh, 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 this medicine, uh, uh, AA, whatever that was, AA. Uh, that's the two number one thing, my uh, sobriety and the AA meeting and church. Let, let me ask you this, what's your train, where are you gonna live if you get out? Well, right now, the um, Keep It Real Minister, right? I'm homeless right now. I never, I'm 55 years old. I've never been homeless. And I asked, and I asked the uh, people at South Child, could they help me if I make parole, go to somewhere where I can have this, some, um, somewhere to stay. And that's that's when Keep It Real Minister come in. And I never had, I never had that opportunity there before. And I really think that'll help me. So where are you going to be? Tell me again. I'm having trouble hearing you. Could you tell him what that place is? He wants to go to the Keep It Real uh, Ministries. They have a housing that's right outside of New Orleans. Um, he sh should be, he's expected to be accepted there. And they also do an outpatient treatment while he's there through CADA. So they have a um, treatment facility and that'll cover his housing and they help him find a job and um, any kind of support he needs to get back on his feet. Yes. How has he been doing there? He's been doing well. He's a worker. They allow him to be at the academy um, on, well, I guess less supervised because they trust him and um, he's, he's doing well. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chairs, I, I, I noticed in the report back from uh, Steve Hoyle, uh, you were in the medically assisted treatment program. Are you taking the shot? Yeah. The, Are you taking the control? No, they ain't never getting no shot. You take it before you Okay. She said I'll take it before. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you take it up on release. Okay. And is that something that you're willing to continue to do? Yes, sir. Sure. Have you had any disciplinary write-up since your last uh, hearing? No, sir. All right. Any questions? Well, Mr. Chairs, I saw that you went to Blue Walters in 98. You said you went in 218. 217. 217. Did you go in 98? Uh, you know, that's, when when I first got, that's when I first got my 20 year sentence in 98. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me look again. That's why I, I, when you said that, I was like, uh oh, I, I wrote it wrong. Okay. So 2017 is when you completed uh, Blue Walters. Yes, ma'am. So, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's all I had. Exactly. Sure. Mr. Chairs, uh, You've done what we asked you to do yes, from the last hearing. Do you think you would benefit from some work release now, like six months, and then get out to where you'd have a little money put up? Yes, sir. Um, any, any one of them, you know, I want to make sure I'm saying it's right. That 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 will benefit me. That one that will benefit me. Or the uh, keep it real, minister. Anyone. I just need. Okay. Thank you. 
Yes, sir. Uh, now we'll hear from Mr. Meyer. Good morning, Randy Meyer, CCPA, Jefferson Parish. Um, so Mr. Chairs did what y'all asked him to do with completing the um, Steve Hoyle program. Um, you know, if, if he is granted today, um, you know, I would ask that, uh, you know, he'd be required to continue with any follow-up care that they have, that they've recommended with that program. Um, I'm a little bit concerned of where the Keep It Real Ministries is. I was just online trying to find where they're located. That looks like they might be in Gentilly uh, in New Orleans. And there's just some concern, you know, like, like he said, people, places, and things. You want to be away from those. And uh, I'm a little bit concerned with that. But, um, you know, we're, we're going to take no position on him since he has, has uh, followed the recommendations of the board at prior hearings. Thank you, Mr. Meyer. Uh, Mr. Uh, Chairs, is there anything you'd like to say before the board votes? Yeah, I'd just like to say thank y'all. I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but uh, I'd just like to say thank you. And I'm I'm really kind of like, um, it's crazy to say this, I'm kind of like glad that I came back because I could have been dead. Because that fit law, the fit law and all that other stuff that's out there, and I was getting high and I, and I missed it. I got grandbabies out there, and that's where I want to be with my grandkids. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just glad I got an opportunity to get this thing straight again. All right. Thank you. Board ready to vote? Yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairs, uh, since your last hearing, uh, you did what we requested you to do. You went to uh, Steve Hall. You completed that program successfully. Uh, it seems that you've learned some things. Uh, I am a little concerned about, about your, your transition plan. Uh, I, I like uh, Mr. Meyer, I'm not that familiar with the Keep It Real Ministries. I do want to make sure that you don't go back to the same neighborhood, the same area that you were in before. Uh, but based upon uh, your completion of Steve Hoyle, based you know, upon... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm real. Can yeah. I call for an executive session? Sure. Real quick? sure. I, I call for an executive session. A second. Yes. 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 Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Chairs, we're going to be in executive session for a few moments to discuss confidential matters. Uh, as soon as we do that, we'll return and we'll finish our vote. Many on parole is called back to order. Uh, Mr. Chairs, uh, uh, just so you'll know uh, what our discussion was about, we have some concerns uh, about keeping the Keeping It Real ministry. We don't know much about it. Uh, we have some, some, some concerns about it. And what little we know, we, we, uh, we're, we're, we're bothered. So uh, my, my vote today is going to be to grant based upon the things that you've done and to follow all of the recommendations of Steve Hoyle, uh, which will include at least three AA meetings per week. Uh, and uh, also that uh, you live, you, you go to a, an approved sober living residence by the department. So uh, they need to make sure wherever you're going is an approved place that will keep you safe and keep you on the right course. So that would be my vote. So uh, I have only one vote, so uh, that's mine. Ms. Wise? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I'm, I'm glad to see how, how clear you are today. And I hope you stay that way and continue to live that way. Uh, I concur, uh, my vote is a grant as well, and that you also cooperate with the medically assisted. Uh, that's a whole new thing, but cooperate with that. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and if you, and uh, they're gonna give you plenty of follow up. You know, you are gonna have your counselor take advantage of that. Go see them, talk to them, let them know what you're feeling and what you're experiencing, so you can be there for your grandchildren. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, best wishes to you, sir. Thank and you. our random drug screen by P and P. I totally concur with my colleagues. Um, you know, get get an uh, approved residence if it's approved by P and P. Go to that residence and uh, good luck to you. I think you, 
I think you may have turned the corner and you need to realize at 58, you better have turned that corner. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Good luck to you, sir. Okay. Thank y'all. You're welcome.